Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another weekly grind video where we go over everything JP and global Dokkan battle in terms of events and summons. So let's go ahead and just jump into it real quick. We're trying to make this video under 20 minutes today. Uh, first one is Super Battle Road is now open. It's going to be open forever. It looks like we have something going on. It looks like until 221. Not sure what the date range is here. I'm pretty sure Super, ba Super Battle Road's open almost all the time. Um, but you have it available until 221, at least as of this. Um, it's a very difficult thing. I tried to take it on last night just for shits and giggles. Um, I had a whole bunch of difficulty. I kept on dying the first round. So I actually need to do some elaborate, in-depth looking into how to build a team for this. When I figure it out, I'll let you guys know. I do have some really good units over here. Um, you don't, It doesn't cost you any stamina or experience or give you any experience or give you any zen or anything like that. But you need to have really good units. You need to have those 120 units or higher in order to be able to take this on. So good luck to anyone taking it on. If you guys have any uh, teams that you're looking into for building, uh, specifically extreme types, I feel like extreme types are going to be a lot harder to run with. Uh, let me know down in the comments below, and I will be doing an in-depth look into this and see if I can get a good team building guide set up for you guys. Though I will say it's definitely well, it's definitely meant for whales, as Reddit calls it, well battle road. You need to have a lot, you have to have the 120 leads in order to do it, or the fusion leads if you have enough characters within that specific fusion type. Or uh, fusion leads, uh, category lead in that category type. So a fusion leader, uh, super super Gogeta, super saiyan, uh, well super saiyan four Gogeta is technique. You will need to have a whole bunch of technique fused units in order to get the most benefit out of that, uh, and that would be a different way that you can go. But anyway, yes, this is available. It's here, and I will be doing going into it. It is a very difficult event. Good luck if you take it on. Next one is going to be the uh, Dokkan event for the new Super Vegito. Uh, it's available until 3:01 every day go in here you can go ahead now well it's been out for a while but you have the new drop reward from the super vegito uh z hard event from stage one miraculous fusion go ahead and get him to feed into the other base form vegetos highly recommend doing that to get him up to super tech 10 um and new stage three it was added for the new event which is ultimate splendor super vegito this is the medal that you get for uh for, to, in order to doken wake in the new super vegito um, Link's Fierce Battle will nullify uh, Super Vegito's barrier. Uh, definitely, so essentially most of the year, it's, you're probably going to take on this event. Uh, outside of that, that's what you're going to do for that. Um, and there's no other Doken Awakenings with this new metal other than the new Super Vegito, which is a really good unit. Uh, next one is Go Forth Hero of Justice, as I told you last week. The uh, event has been reset, so make sure to go ahead and take advantage of all those Dragon Stones that you can get from the event. It runs until 3.01, um, and the only thing really notable here is all the Dragon Stones that you get. Everything else is kind of whack. You go ahead and you get some medals in order to Doken Wake into Great Saiyan Man. A, a couple of units actually Doken Wake into Great Saiyan Man. Over here we have the uh, Farmable Gohan, which you can definitely Doken Wake in if you choose to. Uh, the Agility Gohan, the SR variant, will Doken Wake into an SSR Super Agility. Uh, Great Saiyan Man, the one with the headband. Waifu Videl will Doken Wake in into Great Saiyan Woman or Great Saiyan Man 2 technically, uh, and the strength uh, old school Videl will also do that. So you can go ahead and take full advantage of that if you like the Great Saiyan Man 1 and 2. They'll go ahead, that event is available to 3 1. Outside of that, just grinding for the Dragon Stones, none of those Doken Awakenings are really worth it unless you're just looking to collect them. Uh, next one is going to be Super Warrior Slam. W Victory will be mine. That's available until 221, so you have another about a week. For this, this is the Bio Broly event, by the way. Um, Bio Broly is a character who is meant for a free-to-play tech team, um, or you can throw him on an extreme tech team. I think he is also considered Revival, uh, so he will do some decent damage if you're taking when we get the um, Extreme Z Awakening for Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku. Um, but outside of that, I don't recommend you know feeding dupe system into him, so, though some people have. Um, he's really good at tanking stuff. This event, you have a whole bunch of medals in order to Doken Awaken units like Android 18, Trunks and Goten, well, Goten then Trunks. Uh, so, let's see, uh, Trunks and Goten medals are on Stage 2, you're going to need a bunch of them, I think 7 of each in order to Doken Awaken the OG units that I just showed you. Stage 3 is the Android 18 medals, which will be needed to Doken Awaken Android 18. Krillin's farmable from Stage 4 as an SSR drop, so you can increase the Baba Shop of uh, uh, Krillin up to Super Attack 10 with this guy. Highly recommend doing that in order to get before you Doken Awaken him if you plan on it, if you own him. Stage 5 is Bio Broly and Bio Broly Metals. Uh, definitely do that. Actually, I found out that I ended up getting all four dupe pads unlocked in Super Tech 10 of this Bio Broly, and he is Doken Awakened. So, my guy's all set up. I'm super happy about that. But that runs until the 21st. If you haven't done all that, I at least, like I said in every video when this is up, at least get the Trunks and Goten Metals, because these guys are really useful. All the other cards here are not. Uh, and grind it out for the uh, Dragon Stones. The next one is the other Broly event that's going to be available until the 20th. Defeat the Legendary Super Saiyan. You go over here, stage 6 is really the only real notable one, other than the Dragon Stones from each stage. Uh, stage 6 gives you the Awakening Medals for Goku, Gohan, and uh, Goten. 
he's the ones that Doken Wake and these guys, this Goku over here, uh, this Goku will go, well, this is the, the Broly event Goku, he becomes pretty decent, he's not great, T plus 3, which makes himself reliant, attack plus 5,000, which is really whack, but he disables Rampage, so if you're going up against a Broly event and you're a newer player and you can't break through that, that's going to be good for his barrier. Um, you also have this Gohan. This Gohan's actually really good when he Doken Awakens, attack plus 90% when performing a super attack. He is definitely an A-tier unit for replacement of any of your super type units, like your, your uh, S-tier units. Uh, and then you have Goten, which is decent because he is a key orb manipulator. Attack plus 30% isn't horrible, but a key orb manipulator, and you want to, he'll do some extra damage if you Doken Awaken him. Not, not, not horrible. Uh, I, my primary focus, personally, would be this Gohan because he's a good substitute for other units in-game. Again, this runs until the 20th. Uh, next one is going to be Super Saiyan 3 Broly event is available, runs until the 18th, so you have four more days, which I do have to grind that out. Um, this is, let's see, activate the skill, link skill, limit breaking form to nullify the damage reduction skill, uh, the stats raising skill escalation of Broly who has broken free from the control. Uh, essentially, Super Saiyan 3s will do more damage to him, but if you have like a category lead like a fusions team, you can take him out without a problem, so go ahead and do that instead. Uh, the bro the medals allow you to Doken Wake in the TUR form, or to his TUR form from his 120 lead, and you also have the farmable Broly, the one that goes to Super Saiyan Broly, he now will Doken Wake into Super Saiyan 3 Broly, which makes this guy farmable. So you can go ahead and get him up to Super Attack 10 by grinding him out, if you choose to do so. It's a pain in the butt, a whole bunch of medals, I will not be doing it with this guy. Uh, I did it with the, the, Go the, the actual Goku, and I'm not going to be doing it with him. <laughs> I'm just going to use Elder Kai's because that's too much of a grind fest, and I don't want to waste all those freaking physical uh, medals in order to do that. Anyway, um, pretty nice, pretty good setup. His Doken version is key plus 3 attack plus 70% of the start of the turn, so he's super, super self-reliant. He will link well with the other Broly on your mo your extreme physical team if you choose to use the old, uh, the old school 70% lead. Broly, uh, those two will link together because of that, and he does a lot of damage. 70% is nothing to laugh at, though it is only supreme, but it is pretty freaking awesome. So, uh, outside of that, guys, that's a really awesome event that's here. Uh, next one is the other Doken Festival that's currently available. That's until the 3-1 March 1st. Uh, this is the Physical Vegito, so I definitely recommend pulling on that banner if you haven't gotten him already. Uh, it has really good units over here. It has the Vegito, it has the Super Gotenks, the other Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. Both of those guys are really useful. Um, and Kid Buu and Buhan. So, essentially, he's a Majin Buu category lead. That's why you have all these really good units over here. And, I mean, you have what? You have a 120 lead, a 120 lead, and two 70% leads, and the new category lead that also happens to be a physical leader, I believe. So, he is really, really good. I highly recommend getting him if you haven't gotten him already, or good luck if you're trying to pull him. Outside of that, the Kid Buu, I know a lot of people give him crap. He is a really good unit. But this banner is here. Go ahead and summon on it. I think it's a good banner. I haven't done a review, but I think it's a good banner. Uh, next one is the physical summons. I don't pull on that ever. Uh, I usually only do it when I'm looking for, like, you know, some Elder Kai's or something like that, or maybe some of the support units. Uh, Wednesday, it runs until the 21st, so it ends in seven days. You have some time on that. I don't recommend doing it, but if you don't have any of the supports and or any, like, this Trunks is a really good support unit as well, um, maybe for the Elder Kai's. Oh, and Sin Shenron's also really good because he links very well with Omega if you happen to have him. Plus, you get Elder Kai, so it's kind of a win-win whenever you summon on there. Uh, I don't recommend it, but it does run, run for another seven days if you're interested. Uh, last but not least, the other Doken Festival is available. It's the Super Saiyan 3 Broly event, uh, or summon banner. Runs until the 18th, so you have four more days for this one. Broly's on it, uh, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta's on it. Merge the Masu, Tech Frieza, uh, and Tech Cell, which are really good units to have as well. They just, they, they do a lot of damage, um, and they will tank very well. Uh, Obviously, Frieza tanks because that's what he was built to do. Cell will tank well if you have a nice setup for him, like key orb manipulation, and he actually gets the key orb. His defense will go up. And when he gets an extreme Z Awakening, he's just going to be phenomenal. Um, we also have two other extreme tech types, which is Mass Saiyan Bardock and the Technique Kid Buu. Both of them are really good. Mass Saiyan Bardock, obviously, is what you're going to want, but he's not a Doken Fest exclusive, so you can get him wherever. I think this Kid Buu is not Doken Fest exclusive either, uh, so you can get them off of this banner if need be. But he is featured, which means his rates are higher. Um, outside of that, guys, this is really worth it. It's really good banner as well. I highly recommend pulling on that. One of these two is really good. If you don't like either of these two, I mean, you don't have to pull on them. Um, or sorry, the, either of the 120 leads, you don't have to pull on them. But it is available for you to pull on. Uh, next one is going to be Combat Power Reinforcement Summons. This is available until the 14th, so it ends today. I'm not summoning on this myself. But you have the, the Tech Bardock, which is really good. The Tech um, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, which is really good. Uh, the Physical Vegeta, which I don't really use ever, uh, and the Golden Frieza, which is useful in certain situations. You also have a whole bunch of other units over here. Ultimate Gohan, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku, or Super Saiyan Blue Goku, Super Saiyan Goku, Super Saiyan God Goku, Beerus, and Gotenks. You do have a whole bunch of units in here. Yeah, I think there's all these guys over here. Um, tech 1 kind of sucks. 
The intelligence one's good for key orb manipulation. It's really good with an LR Gohan or any or, or Trunks, honestly, uh, because he will help him out get more uh, orbs as needed. Uh, this in this God Goku is a decent unit. Uh, Beerus is a decent unit. I don't really run him too often. This Gotenks is a really good unit. Highly recommend grabbing him if you haven't done so already. If you pull him, you did good. <laughs> uh, but that runs again until today. So if you plan on pulling on it, I don't recommend it. But if you can, if you don't have any of those units, it's probably a good idea. It runs, but it ends today. Uh, last but not least, the World Tournament Summons end today as well. Go ahead and do your GSSR Summons if you want to. I'm just waiting until we're fully caught up with the JP set before I do any of the Summons because there's a whole bunch of units I can get in there. I think I have something like 30 or 40 um, GSSR Summon tickets available for myself. So one day I'll just make a huge video or maybe do a live stream with all that. Now we're moving over to the JP side of Dokkan Battle. We're going to try and go through this pretty quick. All right, so this next one I actually had to look up because I wasn't aware of it. I just saw it over here in DBZ.Space. We have the Extreme Z Awakening for Kid Gohan for the Namek Saga. So you can go ahead and get him Extreme Z Awakening if you choose to do so. Um, this is the event. You can go ahead and run through it. Um, I don't have any other information other than what I found over here. Shout out to the Reddit as well. Also, by the way, shout out to DBZ.Space because that's what I'm using for my video, as I usually do. Um, Koalas on Z, a shout out over here for the information. Stage 1 of Extreme Z Awakening, Namek, R Category, Key plus 2, HP, Attack, and Defense plus... Uh, or sorry, HP, yeah, HP, attack, and defense, 60% up. Strength type key plus 2, HP, attack, and defense plus 30% up. When you get to level 3, for every key orb obtained, attack and defense goes up by 12%, and rainbow orbs obtain additional attack plus 5% and key plus 2. That's actually really useful. Um, fifth level is Namek R category, key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 77, or strength type key plus 2, HP, attack, and defense plus 30%. Uh, and at late stage 7, I believe that's the final stage, um, or no, it's not. Uh, yeah, uh, it looks like for every key orb obtained, attack and defense plus 13% up. For every rainbow key orb obtained, attack plus 7% and key plus 2. Super attack level 15. Uh, Masenko extreme supreme damage for one turn, all allies up plus 20%. So when you get him up to the super attack level 15, um, he will get an additional 20% 20%, uh, 20 uh, damage to all of his enemy or to all of his allies to do. Uh, and it looks like we have a list of all the enemies, and yeah, this is a whole bunch of information that I'll have to go over in another video. So that's really awesome. It's going to be available until the 6th, so you have some time to grind that out. Next one is going to be the actual uh, place where you get the Gohan. I'm pretty sure this is the one that you get the Gohan. You grind it out, and you will get Gohan from Stage 1. You can grind him out. You're going to have to Dokken Awaken him with Metals Looks Like from Stage 7. You get the um, actual potential orbs from Stage 8, um, and that way you can get his dupe system uh, all set up. And then you go ahead and do the Extreme Z Awakening for him, which looks pretty ridiculous, actually. If they're going down that route, that's awesome. Uh, anyway, guys, that's going to be available until the 6th, so go ahead and grind that out. We have the Majin Buu. It looks like the Majin Buu reprint, I guess is the candy one, runs until the 6th. So you can go ahead and do that if you want to. This is where you get the Super Vegito, uh, the Candy Vegito, that is. So that runs until the 6th. Go ahead and grind that out if you choose to do so for your uh, tech team. He's actually really good for a tech team because of his dodging. Uh, next one is the potential orbs are available every day until the 4th. So go ahead and take advantage of that. Uh, the it looks like, though, this is the um, LR Goku and Vegeta card. This runs until the 19th, so recommend going and grinding that out if for the medals if you haven't done so already. Really awesome cards. Um, that this is the Super Battle Road, or sorry, um, Boss Battle, Battle Ball, uh, yeah, Boss Battle, uh, <laughs> Boss Rush. This is available. We have a new stage added on, which is Super Three, I believe. This is the one that was added on that has all the new fusion categories available. So recommend going ahead and doing that for 35 stones. Uh, cause zero stamina. So good luck if you're going up against that. 311, the reprint for Legendary Super Saiyan, which I already went over on the global side. It runs until 311, so go ahead and grind that out. This is one where for level 6 where you get the Goku, Gohan, and Trunks medals. Um, I'm sorry, Gotenks medals. I always call them Trunks. Uh, the actual event for the third anniversary is here. Still go in there and grind it out daily uh, in order to get the medals for Baba Shop for the exchange. You go over here. Now we're moving over to the summons. The summons will be the agility banner. Uh, it runs until 218, which you have four more days for. You have the pan and the rildo, which is good support units. And you have a couple other good agility units in here. Plus, you get it looks like you get potential orbs and you get elder kai's. It looks like they've been doing gotchas for individual attributes so that way you can get orbs if you want to do some summons on it. Um, outside of that, you have a whole bunch of other stuff. It looks like the Majin Vegeta is uh, available and Mighty Mask is available in this banner as well, as LRs as hidden rewards. Uh, and then last but not least, Double Doken Festival, which you guys are already aware of, uh, runs until the 6th. It's for the LR Goku and Vegeta cards that are here. The ones that when they go LR, they have a chance after 6 turns under H when HP is 50%, they will turn into either Gogeta or Vegito. 
So uh, pretty awesome units, and that's about it. So that is going to be my weekly grind video, guys. I tried to keep it shorter for you this week because I know last week's went about almost 30 minutes. Thank you for joining me here today. Good luck on any summonings that you're doing, and let me know how you guys are doing on the new boss rush. So, or not the new boss rush on the Super Battle Road. Boss rush too, if you take in on the new one. I haven't done that yet. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you all later. Peace.